this is a Weird Darkness bonus bite. A bride-to-be has revealed how she is selling her haunted wedding dress after a string of eerie occurrences around her home. The unidentified U.S. woman said she found the vintage dress in an abandoned old gold rush town while hiking and took it home, determined to wear it to her upcoming nuptials. But a string of unbelievable events, including moving items, unexplained smells, swarms of flies and flying objects, eventually convinced her that the gown had possessed her home. Advertising the dress for sale on Facebook for $600, the bride explained the bizarre string of events. While my fiancé and I were hiking through a small town between Fairfax and Carbonado, Washington, we came across an old gold rush town that was completely abandoned," she wrote. Needless to say, our curiosity got the best of us and we started to explore the ruins of this ghost town. In one of the rundown remnants of a small cottage we shimmied up into, I came across this dress. It was so gorgeous, I froze at the sight of it. And if I'm being completely honest, it scared the crap out of me all at the same time, but something about its ethereal beauty just begged me to bring it home with me. But the bride-to-be said it wasn't long before things started going very wrong. Afterwards, things at home would never be the same. After a week of having the dress, we noticed my cat beginning to hide underneath the bed almost all day when she normally spent the day on us or on her designated windowsill. Then things started moving around the house. First, small things like socks and my closet door being open in the morning when I specifically remember closing it before bed. Then my cat's food tray would get thrown at such velocity it would knock things off the shelf hung on the wall at strikes. This happened relentlessly. And then came the smell of rotten eggs and fire that would fill our bedroom night after night. Then flies started to pile up against my back windows and swarm around my front door. Attempts to bless the bride's dress and home with holy water only intensified the activity. Doors slamming, lights turning on and off, candles being blown out in still air, footsteps all over my apartment and heavy anguished sighs so close to my ears I could feel the breath of whoever it came from, she said. It was only when she gave it to her future mother-in-law for cleaning and tailoring that things finally changed. During the two months that she had the dress, it was complete peace. No more tension in the room. No more arguing between me and my partner. No more objects moving or footsteps, and my cat was back to her affectionate, playful self, she said. She never got it dry cleaned and begged me not to get married in this dress because of the energy surrounding it, and I hadn't even told her about what was going on at home because up until that point, I hadn't even connected the two. Needless to say, I need to get it out of my home and I know that there are some people who are willing to take on this endeavor. But many Facebook users were disgusted by the bride-to-be's story, outraged that she would sell a dress for hundreds of dollars that she effectively stole. What a horrible person for stealing something like that in the first place, said one person. I'm glad she's being haunted for it. Sounds like karma to me. I hope that ghost comes at her harder, too, for not only her theft, but her attempt to sell what she has stolen for $600. Added another, teach you to go around stealing wedding dresses from ghost towns. Others thought it was best just to dispose of the gown or return it to where she found it. Burn it and dump the ashes in a river, said one other person. This isn't your dress. Take another hike to the ghost town and leave it there. Do the right thing, wrote another Facebook user. Personally, I'd put it on display and sell tickets. But that's just me.